You turned 30. I did. How was the party? I wasn't invited. But I did invite you and you didn't come. You gave me a bunch of about not inviting you. You won't believe which celebs were bold enough to insult Ellen DeGeneres on her own show. Some of these are so out of line, you won't believe it. The Kanye Show. Do you want to win any of these items on the screen? If so, be sure to watch the whole video, leave a like, and comment the hidden message. I didn't take it as a joke. It ain't no joke, as Rakim said. It ain't no joke. Kanye has always been a controversial topic for society. Ellen guest starred Kanye back in 2016 on her show. Let's see how things took a twist in the segment. The show started out with Kanye rambling for a good six to five minutes. In response to this, Ellen said they were going to take a break from the show. She even mumbled that this didn't seem like a daytime show anymore. She was baffled she had barely spoken two words on her own show since he got on. The Ellen DeGeneres show? More like the Kanye took over with a Kanye show, instead with his lengthy monologue. She then tried getting him to speak about his viewpoints on other topics life decisions and regrets and so on. He pitched her an idea that he is trying to convince Mark Zuckerberg, CEO of Facebook, to fund him a billion dollars. Yes, you and everyone else would love that amount anytime, any day. All jokes aside, Ellen asked Kanye what he would need this vast amount of money for. She asked him to explain since there's a large audience that someone out there might be willing to fund his idea. Kanye told Ellen it would be a better idea if he had contacted Mark Zuckerberg for the money on his own social media platform, which being Facebook rather than Twitter. Yeah, good choice Kanye, way to go. From there he explained what the money would be used for. He said that he is trying to make a difference in society. That is highly respectable, Kanye. He from there portrayed examples such as Picasso, Steve Jobs, and Walt Disney. They all have something in common. They're dead. He wants to be a living legend and make a difference. He looks around and he sees the value of everyone able to have a beautiful life. While West passionately continued to speak on his views on how he can make a difference, Ellen sat there motionless, not a word out of her mouth. Once again, he had stumped her. He left her completely speechless and spoke, I'm sorry for the realness. Loss of words from the talk show host herself. This segment was in fact banned from the show just because of how in-depth Kanye got about his plans with the world. Way to go, Kanye. The First Lady. Something to keep... to keep you flowing. You know. Now on to the famous former First Lady of the United States, Michelle Obama. When you think of Michelle, you just automatically think of a sweet and gentle lady. So nonetheless, if Michelle was to joke around with Ellen, she would most definitely get away with it. But was that what Michelle was doing in this case, or was she just highly unpleased with Ellen's behavior? Ellen and Michelle are two completely different women. Michelle is more reserved and modest, whereas Ellen is all jokes and fun in order to make the audience laugh. Two different lifestyles and personalities. Ellen took Michelle to CVS to accompany her on her trip to show Michelle how to survive a normal lifestyle after her her term comes to an end in the White House. As if Michelle hasn't lived decades before in the normal lifestyle before she was living in the White House. When they are checking out of the store, Ellen asks Michelle if she is able to put Ellen's face on money, to which Michelle fires back, you have to do something of great measure in order to be faced onto a bill. She uses Tubman as an example. Ellen remarks that she makes people laugh on the daily and that is a great measure, and Michelle sternly goes, Tubman freed slaves. Ellen has an overall bubbly and funny sense of humor, so of course she was not going to the grocery store without acting silly. It wouldn't be a true Ellen show without all the jokes. Michelle was not having as much fun as Ellen and told her she was acting like a toddler. I don't think you'll be getting your face on a bill anytime soon, Ellen. Talk show rivals. And some people say that he looks like you. <laughs> I've heard that. You've never heard that? Putting two fellow hosts on a very popular show in the same room is going to create tension, no doubt. And things might become a little dicey, and that is exactly what happened when Ellen guest starred Wendy Williams on her show. Two strong-minded female hosts of a show named after themselves put together in the same room. What else did you expect? What was Ellen even thinking? This wasn't going to create any heat? Well, hold your breath. Things got a bit heated as expected. Things picked up when Ellen questioned Wendy about her Hot Topic segment, and from there, things became a little uncomfortable and not so good. Wendy's response seemed average, saying that she loved that part of her show. However, Ellen's demeanor was cold in the segment, as noticed by the audience as well as Wendy herself. To Wendy's response, Ellen remarked, I bet you do. Was that comment a bit too far? Wendy caught onto the tone in Ellen's comment and fired back immediately that, it's fun, Ellen. Ellen tries to change the atmosphere and takes a different course of acting by playing the game heads up, hoping to clear some air and keep it positive. However, Wendy wasn't finished yet. When Justin Bieber's name pops up on the game, things took a turn for the worse. And Wendy responded that Ellen looks like Bieber. Bieber is one of amazing artist no doubt, but imagine being compared to a young pop star as a grown successful woman. No wonder Ellen felt extremely offended by Wendy's side comments. What would you have done if you were being jabbed like that on your own talk show? Conflicting Caitlyn Jenner. I'm a traditionalist. I'm, I'm older than most people in the audience, you know. I mean, I kind of like tradition and, you know, it's always been a man and a woman. 
Caitlyn wasn't that easy going on Ellen either when she appeared on her show Famous for her dance moves and funny jokes. Ellen asked Caitlyn to dance with her, however, Caitlyn upright refused to dance with Ellen when she was asked to do so. Ellen might have felt a burn on her ego by the refusal because later on in the show, she brought up that Caitlyn didn't want to dance with her since she was lesbian. Maybe she just didn't want to dance publicly and embarrass herself? From there, things on the show became stiff. Ellen and Caitlyn don't have that much in common as it may seem. That became obvious as the show continued. The sensitive topic of gay marriage was later brought up on the show by Ellen, and being from the LGBT community just like Ellen, she thought Caitlyn would be alongside with her on the topic and have similar views. Clearly that wasn't the case, Caitlyn continued to say that she is a traditionalist and believes that marriage should only be between a man and a woman. A bit old fashioned, huh? Caitlyn Jenner, a traditionalist in this society? Far from it, don't you think? Ellen obviously felt disgraced since she is publicly married to a woman herself. Someone telling her marriage isn't valid in her eyes clearly struck Ellen and she was baffled. In this situation, who was being mocked? Ellen for her non-traditional wedding or Caitlyn being called out on her different views regardless of being part of the T in the LGBT community and recently coming out? Jenner said that she is old, therefore, that's where the traditionalist views come in. However, she has since then come around the idea. Ellen felt that she wasn't completely telling the truth. On the other hand, Jenner felt being on the show was a setup by Ellen in order to shun her from the community. She felt she was put into an awkward situation and that her words were twisted by Ellen in order to make her image look bad. From that, we can see that even though we might be a part of the same community, everyone has different views on the lifestyle. It's all fun and jokes until a controversial topic is discussed. Both of them took the topic to the heart too much, don't you think? They should have just danced it out, feeling chopped. So yeah, it's really fun. What, Andy, what do you want me to do? What are I, we I, doing here? Keep going, move it along. It's like, I, yeah. we, we're, we're done. <laughs> we're, we're done. We're done. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Ellen is known for her sense of humor and being an extremely successful show host, but who knew her talents would get bashed when inviting Giada De Laurentiis to her show, who happens to be famous for her culinary skills. The culinary expert was cooking alongside with Nicole Kidman as well as DeGeneres. Giada was prepared to throw knives directly at Ellen since the moment she set foot on the show. DeGeneres being strictly a talk show host was clearly being insulted for her culinary skills by Giada, and she was not afraid to say so. Her first remark referred to DeGeneres' attempt of artichoke arancini as looking like dog food. She continued to make jokes of how Ellen was clearly struggling with the meat. Give a computer expert a motor and expect him to fix a car with no instructions whatsoever, he's going to be clearly lost on what to do with the object without the right tools and manual. The skills are just not up his alley since he's an expert in a whole different subject. That is exactly what was happening in this case with Ellen and Giada. Maybe the cooking went a bit too far and serious rather than fun and games. And then, things took an awkward turn from that moment on the show. Giada continued to ask Ellen if she had ever tried risotto before and continued to compliment Kidman's dish. Ellen laughed it off, being the humor filled soul she is. Ellen tried her own dish and was struggling quite a bit to finish it, since it was quite inedible. Kidman noticed this and teamed up with Giada with the harsh jokes. This segment turned into a whole bunch of awkward mess. I'm surprised Ellen didn't kick her out of the show at that moment, wouldn't you? If you got shamed like that on your own show, what a slap in the face. Let's just say Ellen was feeling a bit chopped by the end. Forgetful Ellen. Okay, we were gonna have them both though. Now you just got rid of Harry? Well, don't I have to choose? No. Nope. You're, you're an adult, you can have them both. I'll take them both. All right. Let's ease it down on the constant strikes out that Ellen keeps facing on her famous talk show. Ellen guest starred the glorious pop singer Katy Perry. Ellen questioned Katy Perry if she had ever been married before. Perry shot back immediately. His name is Russell Brand. Come on, Ellen. Everyone knows that. Aren't you a famous celebrity that keeps up on any updates in the celeb world? Katy didn't take it wrongly and just mocked Ellen on the show with jokes such as making scissor motions with her hands, knowing that Ellen will ask to cut out this part of the show. Instead, she even reminded Ellen that she gifted her for her wedding on her own show. Ellen seemed embarrassed and said that the segment will be cut out and they both laughed it out. That defines one of the most cringe moments on Ellen's show. Can't stop the show. A couple of times, yeah, we've done, we've done, we've done it a couple of times. No, you haven't. Yeah. No, you have not. Yes. You've done that. Yes. Ellen hosted the famous sensation Justin Timberlake. He was on the show to promote the upcoming movie Trolls. Then they continued to talk about his hot new single released Can't Stop the Feeling. Although famous for her goofy dance moves, singing might not be her path and that became obvious when they continued to talk about his new hot single. Ellen had previously sent a snapchat of her singing the lyrics to the song and misheard Just Imagine as Just Electric. A rookie mistake, right? I'm sure everyone has done that at one point or another. However, being a famous talk show host, she got called out by Justin. He continued to ask if tequila played a part in the video. That would explain a few things, or maybe she just heard wrong. Who knows? Just a celeb fangirling another celeb. Nothing wrong with that. Ellen was shocked, however, and did not realize she was saying the proper lyrics. I think an artist would know his own lyrics, Ellen. Just like Sean, Justin and Ellen were able to laugh the mistake off and continue to have a good time on the show. Next time, just look up the lyrics, Ellen. Jazz Bono the Cat. That was you trying not to look drunk? 
Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It would have been better just to look drunk. Yeah. Jennifer Lawrence, famous Hollywood actress, is a very outspoken person and isn't afraid to be blunt about her views. But frequently, Lawrence ends up putting her foot in her own mouth and says things she probably shouldn't on public live television. That is exactly what happened when she starred on Ellen's show. Who knew that talking about cats would insult not only Ellen, but everyone on the show? It's just cats, Lawrence. How can you mess that up? She commented that her own cat is a female but has masculine behavior. Last time I checked whether female or male, cats just lay around the house and lick themselves. She could have stopped there, but no. She continued to shove the foot in her mouth worse than it already was. She told Ellen her cat was named Chaz Bono. If you don't know the full backstory, Chaz Bono is actually Sonny and Cher Bono's son. He also happens to be trans. They happen to be strong advocates of the LGBT community and their rights. Ellen evidently felt awkward with Lawrence's ignorant joke, but she did not say anything about it. Instead, she continued to talk about cats and the difference between males and females. When in shock, just talk about cats. What can go wrong, right? And there you have it, some of the most brutal insults given to Ellen on her own show. Do you think any of these went too far? Did any of these stand out to you? Do you know of any worse ones that we might have missed on this list? If you do, go ahead and leave it down in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel.